Сейчас, 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 сейчас. Ты мне скажи, у кого? Joel Montalbano, Deputy Program Manager for the International Space Station. Joel, this is an almost unprecedented time of activity at the ISS. How will the visiting vehicles coming and going, the research, the spacewalks that lie ahead, and this new crew all make it fit? 
know, this is a challenge that we look forward to, Rob. This is you know, one of the measures of success of space station is how much utilization and research we can do on board. So what we do is we plan, we plan months in advance for this expedition like we do all the other expeditions. And we basically take it one week at a time. We have a list of priorities, we lay them out, and we just knock them down throughout the increment. So what are the biggest challenges that lie ahead for Barry Wilmore and his crew about to join the others on board the International Space Station as you prepare now and go into a new sort of mini assembly phase of the station to prepare it for the commercial crew vehicles that lie ahead in the future? Well, one of the biggest challenges is we're going to start rodent research. Uh, SpaceX 4, which launched a couple of days ago, which will be birthing later today, and then Soyuz later this week, we're going to start doing rodent research on board. That's going to be a big challenge for, for Barry and the crew, but we're prepared, they're trained, and they're ready to go. As far as commercial crew, we got a series of EVAs scheduled for next year to prepare the vehicle for the arriving crews. One of the big changes that we're going to have with the commercial crew is that we're going to be changing a little from commercial cargo to commercial crew in the sense that for commercial cargo, we focused on the spacecraft. We had insight into the rocket launch, but we focused on the spacecraft. For commercial crew, we'll not only will focus on the spacecraft, but we'll have much more focus on the launch vehicle. And one final one, Joel. You can't sit or stand on this launch pad, Yuri Gagarin's launch pad, and not think about the partnership that goes in to every launch, but particularly when you have a crew about to head for the station. What are your feelings and thoughts as another rocket goes uh, vertical on the pad here? Uh, this is a great place to be. Baikonur is, uh, you know, the start of an expedition, Kazakhstan the end of an expedition. The partnership today is as strong as it's ever been. We are working together in and out every day with the crews, with the partner agencies. We have a really strong partnership and it's just something to look forward to every day. Mike Fossum, Assistant uh, Director for Flight Operations at the Johnson Space Center. Mike, uh, back here in Baikonur, another rocket uh, at the pad, ready to take another crew to the International Space Station. What is the crew's preparedness? I know you've talked to Barry Wilmore uh, quite a bit over the past several weeks. How ready is the crew for what is almost an unprecedented amount of activity ahead? Well, the crew thinks they're ready. Uh, they've gone through two, two and a half years of training around the planet to get ready for this day. Six months ago we were here as Barry was part of the backup crew. Uh, but mentally, physically, they're prepared, uh, prepared to engage. There's a lot ahead. There's a, a lot of challenges ahead with many vehicles and uh, many sci uh, short, uh, short duration, high priority science objectives. What does Barry bring to this crew that is going to enable him and Samakutiaev and Sarova and their crewmates on board already to be able to fulfill all the objectives and, and to make sure that Expedition 4142 gets done what it needs to get done? I think what Barry brings is a real can-do, gung-ho kind of attitude. Uh, he developed that, of course, as a naval aviator, test pilot, uh, as a shuttle crew member. He had that reputation for somebody that just moved, was thinking quickly, moving quickly, and uh, jumped in with, uh, with great energy to get things done. And I, I look forward to watching him do the same as he joins this crew. NASA astronaut Scott Kelly at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Scott, um, you're back at the launch site and now just six months away from 12 months away from the planet. Uh, is the reality of the magnitude of the mission uh, starting to strike home, starting to really uh, sink in? Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, you being here in, uh, in Baikonur, it's uh, for the first step to, to get into space. Um, and my training has not been all that busy uh, since I started about a year and a half, two years ago. It's been a pretty nice pace, but I think now is when it really starts to pick up. Um, with the final exams we had as a backup crew and then coming here and then going back to Houston, I, uh, yeah, I anticipate you know, having uh, a lot more events scheduled and then a lot more travel leading up to coming back to Russia and then back here in uh, February and March.